What's up YouTube? Welcome back to today's video. First off, hope you're all having a great day today. And in today's video, we're gonna be talking about when is the next iRacing meetup and all the details you will need to know about it. If you guys are new to this channel, I am Tanner Holmes. I'm 15 years old and I race outlaw carts and sprint cars all over the West Coast in Washington, Montana, Oregon, and California, and then sometimes I occasionally travel to North Carolina to race the carts. I have been making vlogs about my racing for a little over two years now, and it has been a journey. We started at zero subscribers and have grown to almost 17,000, and we're looking to continue to grow more. Remember our end of the year goal, 50,000 subscribers. But a little over one year ago, I got the game iRacing, well actually more like a year and a half ago on my birthday, June 11th. My parents surprised me, they got me, you know, a decent computer that could run iRacing and they got me a wheel so I could play and I was so so excited I'd watched videos on this game and watched like I said just tons of gameplay and was so intrigued because it looks so realistic in the sprint car the street stock the late model the modified all these different types of cars and all these different types of tracks that were real life tracks they didn't just make a fake one in the game these were real tracks that people race on every single weekend so I was very intrigued by it so my parents surprised me with the game for my birthday. I was super pumped up. I started playing it and I played it for about six months and all of a sudden I was like, wait, why don't I try to make a few iRacing videos and mix it in with my regular YouTube videos like sit down or with my vlogs, mix it in with those. And so I made my first ever iRacing video. I believe it uploaded on like December 28th or 29th of last year, not last year, the year before last year, 2017. Terrible quality video, a link in the description below if you would like it. In my iRacing videos, they've definitely grown in quality a little bit, but I'm still working on getting a new computer so I can stream and do all that other cool stuff. But the game iRacing, if you do not know what it is, like I said, if you're new, it is a video game or a simulator, depends on how serious you take the game. So some, it's, it's a simulation racing game and has real life tracks like Eldora Speedway, Knoxville Raceway, Volusia Speedway Park. Real life tracks and I believe they're like laser scanned. So all the bumps that are in the track in real life are in the game, like on asphalt, you can feel the bumps going down the straightaways and stuff like that. And the cars handle in a very realistic manner. All the adjustments are very similar. Like for example, if I'm in a sprint car and I'm adjusting my wing mid race, you can see it move forward, you can see the wing move backwards and then you can feel the difference. When I move it backwards, I have a lot more, more rear drive or if I move it forwards, my car is gonna turn a little bit better on entry. So after I started playing iRacing, I felt like I was pretty good at the game and I wanted to make a video about it. I called them iRacing meetups. What it is is where I host a private session, you guys get the password through my YouTube and Instagram, and then you join, you type in that password, and then I can play with all my fans and we can just have a good time. And then you can vote on what tracks, what cars you wanna race next. So we did that and it happened at like the end of 2017. I think the first meetup was on December 27th. And since then we've had like three or four meetups because we do them you know, every two or three months. And now it is time to host another one. So if you guys are new, you've never been to a Tanner Holmes iRacing meetup, don't miss this one. It's gonna be fun. They've been growing more and more every single time. I believe the last meetup in October, I think it was like October 14th maybe was the date, we had like almost max car counts every single time we hosted a race. So you're gonna wanna get in there quick. So now you guys are asking the question, Tanner, when is the meetup? Quit rambling on, just tell us. Okay, so you guys are watching this video on Friday the 11th, that's when it goes up. The meetup is just about 48 hours away from the time this video goes up. It's on Sunday the 13th and it's gonna start around noon, I'm thinking, right around that time. So save that on your calendars, I mean, it's not that many days away. Usually I try to announce it about a week ahead, but tried something different here, it's more of a last minute thing because we decided to not go racing this weekend. I'm like, you know what, this is like my one free weekend before racing season really gets started, so let's have a meetup. And now it is time to announce what cars and what tracks we are gonna be racing at and what time are the race is gonna be hosted. Now I will say real quick before I do announce them, some of these you guys might not like me or some of you guys are gonna really, really love these decisions. So kinda how I pick what I want at the meetup is what do I enjoy racing most on iRacing? That might not be the fastest car, that might not be you know, mo the most insane race, like right on the wall. That's not how I pick the track states. I pick what I have the most fun with and what I see the best racing it with when I race with like my buddies or like when we're racing at one o'clock in the morning. And so that's kind of how I pick these things. And I also try to talk with a lot of people before the meetup to get others input. And I try to ask you guys on social media, like what do you want to see? And I look through all that and then I kind of take it all into consideration and try to pick what you guys want, what I really like. And that's kind of how I determine everything. And some of it's maybe 
maybe not the best stuff, but it's like what I have the most fun at and I think maybe we together will have the most fun at. So we're gonna get started. Our first race of the day is at noon Pacific Standard Time, 12 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. That's the first race of the day and it's gonna be Lima Land Dirt Midgets. Now Dirt Midgets on iRacing have been one of the most fun things to run ever since they did a few updates to them. When they first came out, they weren't very good, but iRacing worked on them and worked on them and worked on them and now they're like the most popular and most fun thing to run on the game. We've been running them at Chili Bowl, of course. We've been running them at Lima Land Lanier. Those are probably my three most favorite tracks to run them on in the game. And like I said, iRacing did an absolute home run. Once they fix them, they drive really good. You can maybe make a little bit of contact without just flipping and spinning out. So iRacing, they gave a little love to the midgets and now they're 100% and I'm excited to bring them to the meetup. Now the next race is gonna be at 115. I'm trying to eliminate with this meetup a bunch of time in between so we can just go from one race to the next and not have a bunch of downtime. The next race at 115, you guys are either gonna love this and think it's gonna be so, so cool, or you're gonna be like, Tanner, this is like for guys who just started iRacing. So one of my most fun things to do on iRacing is when it's like late at night and me, all of our, my, all my buddies and I are all on Discord, what we love to do is put up a 305 at Lanier race and the leader has to run the top challenge. So if you're leading the race, you're running the fence, it's usually like 80% slick. So there's just a little bit of room and you're able to just throw slide jobs after slide jobs. So that's what we're gonna be doing and we're gonna be doing it in heat race format. Now, only in the A main event, the leader has to run the top, but I think this is gonna be very challenging and very, very fun to do. You guys, if you're skeptical at all about it, if you're skeptical at all, just run the race and give it a shot, please. It's so fun when you get the right people in there that have respect for each other and will lift for each other and just throw sliders for like 50 straight laps. It is the most fun thing because they're not super hard to control. You can kind of just drive it in there. You can adjust the wing. That's usually the only adjustment we give. We do fixed setup and it makes it challenging because everyone's fast, everyone's the same speed and you have to have the right line and do the right moves at the right time to be fast. So that is the 115 race. And now, since that'll take a little bit longer because we will be doing heat races, I push the next race back to around three. So that's the 115 race. And then at three o'clock, we are gonna be doing a demo derby. Everybody loves these races. I knew this would probably be the most popular one of them all. We're gonna be doing street stocks at Oxford Plains demo derby. No rules at all. There's only one. I shouldn't say there's no rules and then say there's only one. The only rule is you cannot go backwards. That's just, you know, if we have that, then it's gonna be a disaster. But I'm hoping to max out this race, get like 60 people, and we have a demo derby. So three o'clock Pacific Standard Time, Oxford Plains, it's a free track, and then straight stocks, and you can just wreck each other all you want. The coolest part about this track is they have little ant hills in the middle. That's what we call them, because we do this race like every single night almost. 100 lapper, and we just jump off the ant hills and just destroy people. So that's gonna be a really fun one, three o'clock. And then the last race of the day, I figured that one might take a little bit. So when my buddies and I race this race and we only get like 12 to 15 people at one in the morning, uh, it'll take about an hour to do 100 laps with all the wrecking. So I figured it might take a little bit longer than that. And if you guys do think 100 laps is too long, let me know. But I don't know, when we do it, we just love it because it goes on for like 45 minutes. We pit, we get out of the pits, and it just the leaders change all the time because everyone is wrecking each other. So very, very fun race to do. And like I said, I hope you guys have fun with it. Now moving on to the five o'clock race. This will be the final one of the night. I think I want to do non-wing 360s at Lanier. Now I'm leaving the option open to do wing 360s if a lot of you guys are just anti non-wing but I figured I have a lot of non-wing fans as well I seen them when you guys message me on Instagram and I might do a poll on YouTube so look for that and vote uh, I'm really leaning towards the non-wing side but I am leaving the option open to make this one winged if you guys really think that winged will be better racing so let me know in the comments section down below but right now I'm definitely leaning towards the non-wing side so I think that's what it's going to be but maybe if you guys change my mind we'll change that now let's run through the schedule one more time. I'll put the schedule right here. So the first race of the day on Sunday, January 13th is at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you guys are on the East Coast, that'll be three o'clock your time, 12 o'clock my time out here west. And that race will be Lima Land Dirt Midgets. Then right after we get done with the Lima Land Dirt Midget race at 1.15 Pacific Standard Time, we are gonna be running 305's leader has to run the top race, heat race format, at the Lanier National Speedway, that's at 115. 
And then at 3 o'clock, we are going to be running the Demo Derby at Oxford Plains at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. If you guys are on the East Coast, that's 6 p.m. And then our final race of the day is most likely going to be non-wing 360s at Lanier Dirt. Maybe if you guys change my mind, we might do a linear wing 360 race, but let me know in the comment section down below. So that's the schedule for this upcoming meetup. If you guys really strongly want to change to the schedule, let me know, but I think pretty much this is going to be fun. I mean, Lima Land Dirt Midgets, 305s at Lanier, super, super slick. I'm excited for that one. And then we got the Demo Derby and then some non-wing action also in there. So that's the schedule. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and share. I thought I would inform you on this. You can check my social media for all updates on when the races are exactly going to be going up. I'll be posting about them on YouTube. Also be posting about them on Instagram. That's where you'll know all the latest information. And then also, if you follow our iRacing Meetup info page, that's where we also will be posting exact date and time, dates and times and passwords and all that. But I thought I'll just tell you the password right now. So the password for every single race that will be happening on Sunday is just going to be 1822. That's all you got to type in. So it's going to be a locked session. You go to that lock, you type in 1822, enter, and you'll be allowed in the race. So I shot this whole video last night and after I got done, I sat down and I started editing it and I felt bad. I was looking through and I'm like, so many people are gonna be mad at me that I did not do Chili Bowl Midgets. I mean, I'm doing all these wacky things. I'm doing demo derbies, 305s, like 305 sprint cars, those things are super slow. So I'm like, you know what? Let's give the people what they want. So all the, all the other meetup times are the same. I just thought I'd put this clip in. I'm gonna be hosting a Chili Bowl Midget server at 11 o'clock. So that's a little early for the West Coast, but you know, it will I still get a lot of people in there. So at 11 o'clock, we'll do the midgets and then we'll do Lima Land midgets at 12. So 11 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, mark that down. That'll be the first race of the day, Chili Bull midgets. I thought I'd give you guys what you want. I hope you guys are excited for that. Hopefully it won't be a crash fest, but it definitely will be fun. So anyway, 11 o'clock, Chili Bull midgets. And like I said, all the details, if maybe you missed something in the video, they're all gonna be linked in the description below and on my social media. So check them out there. Let all your friends know. Let's try to have a packed house come Sunday the 13th. Anyway, it's just a few days away. Make sure you're there and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Deuces.